All right, so first came Turok Dinosaur Hunter, then come Turok 2 Seeds of Evil, then Turok 3 Shadow of Oblivion, then Turok Evolution, and then finally Turok. Um, not quite the full circle-ness you sort of expect, but uh, this is Turok 2008 in some circles. It's been a long time since I played this. I think I rented it once. Um, yeah, back in 2008, and I had high hopes for this at first, and um, we're gonna see how those were uh, quickly dashed. So this is made by Propaganda, who made, um, God, they made this, I think, and that was it. I think they made a Tron game later on. Uh, it was Disney's big attempt to try to get into games, and some of the projects, like Split Second, was part of that, and it didn't really go well for them. Nothing really sold. Uh, this, unfortunately, not. Um, th this, I think, has some poten potential now that I'm looking back on it and thinking of it. Some things that I remember liking from this and, and lots of things I remember not liking from this. So, um, we'll, we'll see where it goes. Is that the guy from Condemned? Alright, check the options. Remember, I couldn't find anything no for subtitles, so sorry. No prisoners, no witnesses. This is looking a little rough already, I'm not gonna lie. There's so many games that just run like smack of the seventh generation, like 360 PS3. Like Turok, Dark Sector, played that a little while ago. Um, there's these certain games that like really, really were the hallmarks that people just kind of remember. Like, remember that failed Turok reboot? Yeah, that was on the 360. Um, texture load-in on the Unreal 3 engine is also another hallmark of uh, that particular series of gaming consoles and games. So this is our Turok. I think he's just literally called Turok, which is weird because he shouldn't be. I don't think this is even remotely based on the comics anymore. Somebody get a bucket and mop. got a new cleaner on. Look at this not scenes from aliens. Look at that not ship from aliens. <laughs> it's pretty uh, apparent that they wore their um, the new guy? influences on their sleeve. Hey, dude looks old in your name Turok, right? Yes, Ron Perlman. Officer on deck. All right, lady. We've only got 30 minutes till we touch down. So I'm only going to say this once. Could you say I it twice, it sir? Roland Kane. Roland Kane, which might be the most fucking video game enemy name I've ever heard. No one's seen or heard from him since. We've tracked him down to the colony on the planet below. Now, what they're doing there is not our concern. Our mission is simple. Alright, so this is boring and bland. Uh, yeah, so you shouldn't be called Turok, because Turok is a handle. I want you to meet Turok. Hey, are you five? What, you like can't take someone's name seriously? Uh, Turok is a mantle that's handed down to like warriors. They have like actual names: Joshua Fireseed, Tal Set, things like that. So, uh, you know, I never played this game enough to know if that comes into play in the story. Whoa! It's like, hey, let's try to crib things from Goldeneye, I guess, or a couple of first-person shooters. Well, this is smooth, I guess, at least. Um, can I talk to people? Can I talk to you, Sarge? No, I can jump! Holy shit, I can jump! That's a good jumping Turok! Shouldn't be too big a deal. Gee, oh, that's enough of that. I can barely stand that. Let's go. Alright, I just I just need to get to the battle dino zone. I don't care about I care not for uh military Ooh, space awesome. marine style jargon. That's too many stars, I actually think. I think they went overboard on the star pattern. It seems like the stars outside Adon's like little fucking chill out area in Turok too, but way too many. You gotta eliminate at least 50% of these. Can we call Thanos? What are you doing? What? Who said that? Was it you? Just say that to me again. I dare ya. Was that me? I think my Turok's a silent Turok. Uh, I guess there was nothing in here. I guess I'll go to objective. I thought that that could have been I something, but. Get your dumb ass over here. You oh, wow. His voice really carries. I'm climbing. 
So this is another one of those first-person shooters that this was the style at the time. Uh, they would cut to third person a lot. Um, which, personally, I, I remember people at the time being like, oh, I hate that, it's like disruptive. I actually kind of like it. I like seeing my character sometimes. Not, I don't need to see him all the time if I'm playing a first-person shooter. I just think it's neat. Jesus. This is a big budget game, apparently. I, I was told. I guess if I want to do my shit, I gotta follow that guy. All right, I'm liking that. Walk you through some of the gear we'll be using once we get planet side. Uh, some of our gear Here's will not be including the cerebral bore or the razor wind. I guess my truck does talk. Nice handlebar, or mustache, narc. Jesus, could they not see that coming? It's not sophisticated, like. Monitoring equipment in space and future. And my Turok is strong and tough. I actually really don't mind his character model. I think the Mohawk's like pretty cool because it fits in with the military space marine aesthetic and also like a little bit into, I mean, I guess his lineage. But there's been a change of plans. You are now under my command. The army sees you as a bunch of violent reprobates with no future. But I see men who, with the right guidance, could become. I mean, the maybe best the Turok mantle like produced. fell on this guy's shoulders at some point, but I don't remember any of that in the base game from what I had played. You, step forward. You're a Native American, aren't you? You're a genius. You're either Cherokee or Kiowa. I'm guessing Kiowa. And you're lucky I'm in these cuffs, old man. He doesn't seem that old to me, but whatever. Oh, shit! I like the cut of this Turok! Wake up! We gotta go! So I think that's fine to set up a bit of the story. Our Rolling King was like kind of our mentor. I think that's alright. I mean, this, this game actually looks okay, honestly. Like, yeah, it's a little, you know, cheap here and there, but... I mean, I have to get down on the surface of the planet to, to really see it. I remember it looking kind of nice at the time. So I don't know who currently owns the rights to Turok. I know Night Dive has a little bit of them because they re-released Turok too. But there's that weird... I mentioned in the last Turok video that weird fucking uh, tactical, like, cutesy RPG thing. I don't even know how to fucking describe it. All right. Why is Crouch? That must be the weirdest Crouch button I've seen in a while. Um, so I don't know who actually could re-release a new Turok. I know Night Dive, everyone, I'll, I'll link Night Dive's Twitter in the uh, description. Go check out Night Dive's Twitter. Because they, they put out a statement saying, Hey, what would you like to see? Like, another Turok port? Or would you like to see us make a brand new Turok game with our uh, Kex engine, which is what they use to like remake... A lot of their games like Turok 2 and Blood. I would love a fucking old school looking and feeling Turok game. Like one that was like an upgraded N64, like early polygonal one. I'll live. That'd be sick. Just over the top weapons, cause hey, I'm gonna spoil this right now if anyone's seen this game. If you're here to see over the top weapons, you will not be getting them. That was one big complaint I remember from this, and I also share that complaint. It's just a standard kind of military, like, arsenal, like, vaguely futuristic. So, I do like this, just the fact that this is, like, the first, like, you know, good technology Turok game. I don't think evolution really counts, uh, where it can really render a forest jungle in, you know, a, a convincing sort of way. I don't know, I think in the future you guys would find Dinosaur's old hat. I'm surprised you're surprised. But Crash Landing on a planet just happens to have dinosaurs on it. I think that's a decent reboot setup, honestly. I was always down with that. Alright, we're gonna have a look at the Lost Valley, except it's not the Lost Valley. It's more like the mysterious valley that has dinosaurs. Whoa! Man, dinosaurs in video games is still really cool. There should be more games. What is this place? It's back in the past, stupid! There, see that smoke? I bet that's where the rest of the ship came down. 
That's what. Yeah, we're I don't think the dinosaurs are having a barbecue. So yeah, it stands to reason. Whiskey company, come in. Anyone out there? Nah, we're all Damn. dead. Still no answer. Go inside my Turok head. Whiskey I find company, that still a bit jarring than how it's done in Goldeneye, oh. honestly. Yes. Or at Perfect Dark, I think okay. that it did it as well. Anybody out there? It just kind of cuts, whereas, like, at least you get into the, the skeleton, the skull of uh, 007, or, uh... Hey, I, okay, I took some damage there. I don't know from what. Maybe I, I stepped on some prickers. Ow! I guess it's the Sharpities. D does this hurt me? It hurts me. It hurts my Turok. So, yeah, I do remember there's a core element of stealth in this game. And it has a lot of elaborate third-person animations for knife kills. I remember that being, like, kind of a cool feature. You have a lot of cool, like, stealthy knife-killing animations for uh, human enemies, I think, as well as dinosaurs, which is cool, too. I think that's neat. It's just that this game just seems to me like it was one step forward, two steps back in a lot of ways. Like, it looked okay at the time... Um, it's got some nice animations, it can uh, render a jungle in a cool way, the dinosaurs look cool, but the arsenal's not there. Um, it's kind of standard in terms of its, like, military aesthetic, space marine sort of stuff, which, like, people are getting a little sick of at the time. Picked up! And, of course, it has QTEs. Now, doing a backbreaker to a little, a little dinosaur, I'm okay with that! Holy shit! Okay, I don't really have iron sights in the traditional way. And I can't fucking see the dinosaur. I guess it's how the dinosaur has an advantage over me. I just kind of have a close zoom in. I would actually really rather have iron sights. Let me get out of this fucking undergrowth. No, let me get out. It won't let me get out. Did I shoot all the dinosaurs? I don't know. Yeah, I'd really rather prefer iron sights than that. But, I mean, I guess I can't complain about mil- Whoa! Why not? I guess I can't complain about military stuff if, like... I want other military stuff like iron sights in there, but whatever. Uh, that guy looking looking a little rough. <laughs> okay, weird way to do that. Not quite blood. Are these like blades of grass just fucking like bendy JPEGs? They sure are. Like it looks okay from a distance, but not so much up close. So what is G-Man gonna fucking play? Uh, uh, Jurassic: The Hunted. He said he bought it. But he still hasn't played it, coward. I'm just saying. See, that's cool, showing that he has some proficiency with knives to begin with. Just a little camera cutaway. It's kind of a smooth transition, so that's neat. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Knife kills. So I just have a little little jab there, just like, you know, poking at my meat. Execute it with special knife kill. Like this guy. It's knife kill! Now, that was incredibly unviolent, which is not the Turok way. I hope it gets a bit more violent. Daily reminder that the Japanese version of Turok 2 is called Violence Killer Turok Next Generation. You know, it's the wild speed super combo of the Turok universe. Maybe it can't be human violence. That affects ES ESRB ratings. Like, on human violence is considered way more worse than, like, against animals or aliens or dinosaurs in this case. So, maybe if I stealth kill a dinosaur, which is a fucked up thing to say in context. Oh! Whoop! Oh, it's you. Hi, Ron Perlman. A lot of Ron Perlman games on this channel lately. I'm sure we're all dead. Surprise! Let's go get these guys. My Turok's quite cute. I like him. God, does this Let's game go. have, like, a four-weapon limit? It might have, like, pistol, uh, one, uh, one light weapon, and then one medium or, like, uh, strong weapon. <laughs> Explosive, maybe. I mean, a four-weapon limit, that's okay. That can get the job done. I just... I, especially at the time and going yeah. back to it nowadays, I don't really like two-weapon limits. I never really did. I mean, I'll always give Halo a fucking um, pass because it was like one of the first to do it and they balanced it around pretty well. But other games like, like, oh, Halo was successful because of a two weapon limit. No, it wasn't. Like, why would you think that? It was successful for a variety of reasons. 
It's crazy. Like, oh, Dark Souls is successful because it's hard. Let's make games hard. No, that's absolutely not. You're crazy. Who keeps giving you the ability to make decisions like this? Gross. Kind of cool. See, this is violent and bloody. I don't know why the knife kills for humans weren't. Oh, there's a chopper moving in. There's the chopper. Let's get to the chopper. Oh, wait, these are bad guys. Yeah, I'm really... I don't know why it couldn't just be an iron sight. It's like, I'm... I'm generally fine with iron sights being and being in first person shooters of this day and age. Uh, I don't know, but it seems like Ron Perlman's actually killing motherfuckers, which is crazy for computer AI to even do that consistently. Oh, that's something behind the trees. See, this is cool. This part's cool. The dinosaur parts of Turok is cool, did you know? That's pretty nicely modeled all things considered. He's got battle damage and shit. Don't bother us though. Continue on your merry way. Tyrannosaurus Kun. Search the area for survivors. I don't think no one survived nothing. Man, look at these generic crisis ass guys. Don't think this changes anything. We may be stuck together, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. Why are you guys so mean to me? Just because my name is Tarok? Now stick down, like crouch down like me, Ron Perlman. I don't care what your game name is, Ron Perlman. Hello! Well, that dinosaur, I felt actually kind of bad for you to know it was coming. Whoa, he's crazy, folks! Look at this guy! What an insane dino. Uh, I have one grenade. I don't know what it is to use it. I'm assuming the RB or LB. I'm very scared. I don't want to waste a grenade. That wreckage. Oh, okay, we're just gonna jump down. Cool. Oh, oh, okay. Now, I don't know. If a dinosaur heard gunfire, it'd probably be really scared of it. I'd be scared of it if I was a dinosaur. Whoa! QTE, son! Never aging. At least these aren't as hard to hit and as annoying as Compies. I mean, like, they're hard to hit for me because I'm, I'm not great at this right now, but. Okay, you kill dinos and there's at least splashes of blood, so. Like, I don't remember if this game was rated M for Mature. Let me know in the comments. Oh. I died in a QTE, huh? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go this way now. Maybe we can get a different encounter. That'd be neat if we could. I don't really think we will. I guess we're closer to the crash site. Okay, I'm gonna let you deal with it, Ron Perlman. I'll stay here and snipe like a coward. Some of these dinosaurs move a little fast. What happened down here? All right, you just took care of them, cool. Pick the SMG ammo, cool. Some of these SMGs not amazingly fun. I mean, I guess this is your first like bullet-based weapon, it's okay. So that's it, That that's everything that the wreckage has to offer us, cool. Slade is his name. Yeah, I'm not calling you that. Slade. It's fucking Deathstroke. No one would have known. They'd have chalked it up to friendly fire. Nah, scratch that. You're no friend. You're a goddamn traitor. If I was a traitor, you'd already be dead. If you're not a traitor, then why'd you abandon your unit in Colombia? You weren't there. You wouldn't understand. My brother was there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he will. He was slave. dead. So. Ring a bell. He died on that mission. Not like you. You turned and ran. Your beef should be with Kane. He's the reason your brother's dead. My beef is with both of you. Yeah, that's that's totally fair. All right, thanks for the help, Rod. Don't seem to have a run, or I can't figure out how to do it. Pressing in the sticks just makes the objective appear. Every other button doesn't seem to do it, so I, I, don't, I don't know. We gotta kill these guys, they're a threat. Yeah, come over here! Yeah, you don't want none. It's a long drop. Can I actually drop or is there an invisible wall? Uh, I'd like to drop and see what it looks like, but I don't know when the last save was. If I see it saving content, then I'll do- Oh, shit! Can I stealth kill one of these? This has to be a stupid dinosaur. If it... Oh, I actually can! I didn't even need to kill this thing, but fuck it! Whoa! That was neat, too. Wait, I think, I think it's like the, the, the knife is actually super overpowered in this. Like, everything's a one-hit kill in certain situations. Yo, you too! I'm a dinosaur hunter! He's just trying to, like, eat. 
You all have to go. All right, saving content now, so let's go back down and fall. You know you want to see it. It might be hilarious, you don't know. It's not funny at all. I remember a comment in the Turok 2 Seeds of Evil video. Someone was like, man, I really wish they would reboot Turok. And I was like, they did. They literally did. And like, I, I don't know. Maybe even Turok Evolution was some type of soft reboot. I'm not really sure. I don't know if the person like remembered that this thing existed, but I mean, it, it does in, in a way. Oh shit, I have double SMGs? I didn't know, no one said. Okay, I, I wasn't aware there were like dual, oh fuck, dual weapons in this. <laughs> what a dork. Wow, there's a facility here too. I kind of forgot about that. It's not all jungles and stuff. I mean, it really couldn't be, but. That bridge is the only way across the valley. And that means we have to go through that base. Let's keep moving. Then. I mean, another way across the valley is to go through the valley, but. Sure. So it has some of the interspecies fighting in this. Like, a fucking Rob Probe even just said, they might finish each other off. Which is always neat. Like, that's the thing that's been around since fucking Doom 1. But uh, it's still neat when it, when it happens. I remember this being like an element of the game that they were saying, like, you can manipulate it so, you know, dinosaurs will, will fight with soldiers and stuff. I don't mind throwing a couple of human enemies in, in a Turok game. Like, it's cringeworthy when it's like, hey, let's let's put do that in dead space or whatever. But in this, I mean, it makes sense. Uh, what what I fall? What I fall? Did I just trip? I'm tripping. I fall. I got to get up. All right, did we actually kill everything, or everything killed itself? I feel like we did. We did it. So I was looking at the controls really briefly, and it seems like there is a two weapon limit to guns. You always have your knife, and once we get the bow, we'll have the bow, and that'll be like. So technically you do have four, but you can only have two guns I'm at one time. Ooh, well, you know, speaking of the motherfucking bow, I'm really glad they ke they kept that. I mean, it'd be hard this not to, but... Is for you. It represents your passage to the next level of training. Is this a joke? Far from it. It's a pity that you're so ashamed of your heritage, Turok. Because it so happens that some of the most feared warriors of all time were the Kiowa Indian tribe. Your ancestors. And the bow was their weapon of choice. Look, there's a big low poly deer in the background. Kill it. Stay low to the grass so I can't. I would not mess with anyone that can really fire one of those reflex super high-tech bows. That shit's scary. You know, remember Year of the Bow? Like every single game had a bow for a little while. I think I want to say in like 2011, 2012, Crisis, Last of Us, uh, Tomb Raider. I want to see there's a couple of others. You're the bow is great. You're the bow every day. <laughs> cool. Not really that satisfying to actually hit someone with it. He's hell gassed. Now, can I pick up arrows? Does it have that feature from Turok 2? It doesn't. Yeah, it really kind of sucks you can't pick up arrows. I mean, it totally makes sense. Something from Turok 2 cannot be impl implemented. It's kind of crazy to me, but whatever. Okay, maybe we, maybe we can do some shit with my OP knife now. Nothing beats the Turok life. Stabbing folks with my Turok knife. Uh, Turok knife. <laughs> so can you actually take QT damage? Which is some type of bullshit. Sure there isn't a shotgun or a weapon that's just kind of floating in midair. There you are. Oh wait, no, it's my friend. He ton of teleporter. That's some creepy Watson shit there. Almost into that boring looking facility. I can't wait. I know, let's do this. <laughs> it kind of bored that dinosaur. So, so Ron Perlman just decided I'm not fighting anymore. Fuck it. You go on ahead and fight for me, and I will show up once the danger is gone, which I guess is a type of stratagem. Oh, let's try this. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try that. That didn't work as well. How about that? Okay, all of the grenades failed in very quick succession. Is this inside? It's green. Yeah, I'm inside. Come on now. Shotgun? No? Great. We'll cover more ground if we split up. Stay in radio contact. Okay, so you're gonna go down that boring hallway of the facility. 
and I'll go into this boring hallway of the facility that clearly has no dinosaurs. All right, so that was honestly Turok 2008. Um, once you get into that facility, I don't know. It's, it's, I, I lost interest real big, big style. I'm not sure that game gets any more interesting. It's fine. It's it's solid on a basic level, but it's it's so just solid and and. You throw in a few crazy weapons, a few crazier set pieces, a weirder story, just slightly. It doesn't have to be over the top, because uh, you're trying to anchor it with the sci-fi Gears of War. All those guys look like they're from the Gears of War. I don't know. Um, it's okay. I'll give it that. It's way better than Turok Evolution. Uh, but Turok Evolution is also hilarious in how bad it is. This is more like a, like a 5 or a 6 at most of like... You know, how much fun you, I think you can have with it. Of course, the multiplayer is super dead, so look forward to that. Um, that, that, that is Turok 2008 by Disney, which is so weird to say. You know, of any other weird or bad first person shooters I could play on the 360, and there's lots. Let me know in the comments below and see what I can do for you.